Hey everyone! Welcome back to World Information HD, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of coins and collectibles. Today, we have a special treat for you. We're counting down the top 50 most valuable and ultra rare Lincoln one cent pennies that are worth millions of dollars. So, if you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about what makes these pennies so special, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more amazing content. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating stories in numismatics, the 1972 Lincoln penny with a D-mint mark. That's right, this humble little penny, minted more than 50 years ago, has captured the attention of collectors and investors worldwide. You might even be sitting on a fortune and not know it, because this coin is currently making waves in the market, with one reported to be worth a staggering $1.2 million. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about this incredible coin, its history, why it's so valuable, and what to look for if you think you've got one. So let's get started. Let's take a step back and talk about the history behind the 1972 Lincoln Penny. First things first, this coin is part of the Lincoln Memorial Cent series, which started in 1959 and ran until 2008. On the obverse side, you'll see President Abraham Lincoln, which is based on a design by Victor David Brenner, who crafted this iconic image back in 1909. The reverse side features the Lincoln Memorial, designed by Frank Gasparo, which makes these pennies stand out from earlier versions that featured wheat ears. Now, the key thing to remember about the 1972 penny is that most of them were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, but today we're focusing on those struck at the Denver Mint. That's what the D-Mint mark represents, and it's located right below the year on the coin. This coin is valuable not because of its material, but because of a rare variety that involves a minting error known as doubling. This occurs when the coin's design is stamped more than once, creating a doubled image. And while the Philadelphia Mint produced some well-known double die varieties in 1972, including the famous 1972 double die obverse, the Denver Mint was known for producing a much rarer and more valuable variant. All right, now let's talk about why this coin can be worth so much money. The 1972 D penny with this particular doubling is incredibly rare. In fact, it's one of the rarest double die varieties ever discovered, especially from the Denver Mint. And what makes it even more special is that only a handful of these have been found in excellent condition. When it comes to coins, condition is everything. Collectors look for coins in mid-state, or what we call MS, which means they are basically in the same condition as the day they were struck. For this specific coin, the highest graded specimens have reached values in the hundreds of thousands, and recently, one such coin sold for an astonishing $1.2 million. That's right, $1.2 million for a penny. This record-breaking sale has turned the numismatic world on its head, and it's proof that even the smallest coins can pack the biggest surprises. So, how do you know if you have one of these ultra-rare pennies in your pocket or collection? Here's what to look for. First, check for the D-mint mark under the ear. Next, use a magnifying glass to carefully inspect the obverse, or front, of the coin. You're specifically looking for doubling on Lincoln's profile, especially around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Check for doubling on the letters in the words in God we trust and liberty. These are the most common areas for the double die error to appear. If you spot these features, congratulations. You may have a coin that could be worth a small fortune. Now that you know what to look for, you might be wondering how much your coin could be worth today. The coin market is always shifting, but as I mentioned earlier, the value of a 1972 D. Lincoln penny with this specific error has skyrocketed. Depending on the condition, even less than perfect examples can sell for several thousand dollars. But if your penny is in mint state, you could be looking at six figures, or more. The best way to sell your penny is through a trusted auction house or an experienced coin dealer. Heritage Auctions, Stax Bowers, and other major numismatic auction houses are great places to start. These auction houses specialize in rare coins and have a network of serious buyers who are willing to pay top dollar for coins like this. So there you have it. The 1972 D. Lincoln Penny, a small coin with a big story. Whether you're a collector or just someone who's curious about what's hiding in their change jar, this coin proves that even a penny can be worth a fortune. Keep your eyes peeled, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the next one with a million dollar penny in your pocket. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more awesome coin stories, and drop a comment below if you've ever found a rare coin. See you next time! Welcome to the fascinating world of rare coins, where something as ordinary as a penny could hold a hidden fortune. 
Today, we'll be exploring the mysterious and valuable 1974 D. Lincoln penny, a coin that might just make you a millionaire. Could it really be worth a staggering $1.4 million? Let's dive deep into its history, the reasons behind its rarity, and whether or not you could be holding a treasure in your pocket right now. To understand why the 1974 D. Lincoln penny has sparked so much interest, we need to go back in time. In 1974, the U.S. Mint was still producing the Lincoln cent, which had been in circulation since 1909. This penny featured President Abraham Lincoln on the front, a design crafted by Victor David Brenner, and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. The Denver Mint, identified by the D. Mint mark, was responsible for striking over 4 billion pennies that year. With so many 1974 D. pennies produced, you might be wondering, what makes one of them so special? Well, the answer lies in an experiment carried out by the U.S. Mint that same year, which leads us to the heart of the mystery. In 1973, the United States was facing rising inflation and a dramatic increase in copper prices. This created a dilemma for the U.S. Mint, as the cost of producing a penny was approaching the coin's actual face value. In response, they began experimenting with different materials in an effort to reduce costs. Aluminum, being much cheaper and lighter than copper, became the primary contender. Approximately 1.6 million aluminum pennies were struck in 1974, including both P. Mint Mark coins from Philadelphia and D. Mint Mark coins from Denver. These experimental coins were distributed to Congress for review, but concerns about their health impact, compatibility with vending machines, and the lack of metal recycling infrastructure for aluminum led the U.S. Mint to abandon the project. All aluminum pennies were supposed to be recalled and melted down. Despite the recall, not all of these aluminum pennies were accounted for. It is believed that one of the rarest of them all, the 1974 D. Aluminum Penny, survived and escaped into the hands of collectors. This elusive penny is what has driven collectors wild and has created speculation about its potential value. To this day, very few 1974 aluminum pennies are known to exist, and even fewer have been authenticated. One such coin made headlines in 2014, when a previously unknown example surfaced and was expected to sell at auction for an incredible $1.4 million. However, legal disputes over ownership with the U.S. government have kept this penny from being sold, leaving its true market value a matter of speculation. So, why could this 1974 D penny be worth $1.4 million? The answer lies in its extreme rarity, unique material, and the fact that it was never supposed to be in circulation. Any coin that defies its intended fate instantly becomes a historical artifact, and collectors will pay handsomely for these one-of-a-kind pieces. For example, the 1943 copper penny, a similarly rare coin produced during World War II when pennies were supposed to be made of steel, sold for $1.7 million. The same dynamics apply to the 1974 D aluminum penny. Its unique composition, combined with its status as a forbidden coin, is what makes it so valuable. Now you might be asking yourself, could I have a 1974 D aluminum penny hiding in my pocket change? While it's incredibly unlikely, it's not impossible. If you come across a penny that feels much lighter than usual, has a silver or grayish color, and bears a 1974 date with a D-mint mark, you might want to have it professionally evaluated. Authenticating a rare coin like this requires expertise and specialized equipment, but if it's real, you could be sitting on a fortune. Now, let's talk numbers. While the 1974 D aluminum penny has yet to officially sell for $1.4 million, experts in the numismatic community believe that its value could reach or even surpass that amount, given its historical significance and rarity. The $1.4 million figure is based on a previous auction estimate, but since no 1974 D aluminum penny has actually been sold at auction yet, the sky's the limit. As the coin collecting market grows and more people become aware of this rare coin, the potential for a record-breaking sale becomes increasingly likely. If you're lucky enough to find one, your life could change in an instant. So, there you have it, the story of the 1974 D. Lincoln penny and its incredible journey from an experimental coin to a potential million-dollar treasure. While most of us will never come across this elusive coin, its story serves as a reminder that sometimes the smallest objects can hold the biggest surprises. Who knows? The next time you check your spare change, you might just discover a hidden gem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the world of rare coins, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And who knows, maybe your next coin could be worth a fortune. Do you have any stories about rare coins or collectibles? 
let us know in the comments below. And remember, every penny counts. Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting topics for coin collectors, rare pennies that are worth a fortune. Specifically, we're talking about the 1988 No Mint Mark Lincoln Cent, a seemingly common penny that could be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, you heard that right, $54,986 to be exact. If you've got one of these in your change jar or tucked away in a collection, you might want to stick around to see just how valuable that little penny might be. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss any of our future videos about rare coins and collectibles. Let's get into the fascinating story of the 1988 Lincoln Cent with no mint mark and why it's making headlines for its jaw-dropping value. Before we get into the specifics of the 1988 no mint mark penny, let's talk about the Lincoln Cent itself. First minted in 1909, the Lincoln Cent was created to commemorate the 100th birthday of President Abraham Lincoln, making it one of the longest-running coin designs in U.S. history. Over the years, this humble penny has gone through numerous design changes, composition updates, and of course, some highly collectible errors that make certain pennies incredibly valuable. Fast forward to the 1980s. By this time, the U.S. Mint had switched to a zinc core coated with copper, rather than making pennies entirely out of copper, due to rising material costs. Despite the change in composition, the Lincoln Cent continued to be produced at various U.S. Mint facilities, including Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Philadelphia coins typically don't bear a mint mark, which brings us to the 1988 Lincoln Cent in question. So, let's talk about the 1988 no mint mark Lincoln Cent normally. A penny without a mint mark from this year would be assumed to have been minted in Philadelphia, and for the most part, it would be worth its face value. Just one cent, however, there's a major catch here. Some 1988 pennies that were struck at the Philadelphia Mint are worth much, much more, and here's why. In 1988, a rare variety of Lincoln cents was produced by accident. This particular coin has a design flaw that has sparked immense interest in the coin collecting community. The flaw is found on the reverse side of the penny, specifically in the details of the letters and the Lincoln Memorial. What makes this 1988 penny so valuable is that it has what's called a transitional reverse. In 1989, the U.S. Mint introduced new dies for the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side of the penny. These dies had slightly different details, particularly in the letters, FG, near the base of the Lincoln Memorial, which are the initials of the coin's designer, Frank Gasparro. Now, some 1988 pennies were accidentally struck with these 1989 reverse dies, making them part of a very limited run. These rare 1988 pennies with the 1989 reverse are considered error coins, and collectors go crazy for errors like this. The telltale sign that you've got one of these rare pennies is in the design of the initials FG on the reverse. On a regular 1988 penny, the FG will be blocky and closer to the memorial, while on the error variety with the 1989 reverse, the initials are more spaced out and have a sleeker appearance. You're probably wondering how does a penny go from being worth just one cent to an astronomical dollar fifty four, nine eighty six? First, the rarity of this coin cannot be overstated. Only a small number of 1988 pennies were struck with the 1989 reverse dies, making this coin extremely hard to find. The law of supply and demand kicks in here. When there are very few of something, collectors are willing to pay a premium to get their hands on it. Second, the condition of the coin plays a massive role in determining its value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect mint condition. The 1988 No Mint Mark penny that sold for $54,986 was in an extremely high grade, meaning it was nearly flawless. If you find one of these coins in circulated condition, it might not be worth quite as much, but it could still fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on its condition. Now, how do you know if you've got one of these rare 1988 pennies? First, dig out all your 1988 Lincoln pennies and examine the reverse closely. Look at the FG initials near the Lincoln Memorial. If they match the 1989 design, you might have struck gold, or copper, in this case. It's also important to get the coin professionally graded. Services like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can authenticate and grade your coin. If you think you have one of these error coins, send it in for grading and certification to establish its true value. Now, for the part you've been waiting for. How much is the 1988 No Mint Mark Penny worth today? Well, the highest recorded sale price for one of these coins was $54,986, and 
and that was for a coin in pristine condition. However, the market is always fluctuating, and depending on demand, your coin might sell for slightly less, or even more. Even coins in lower grades have been known to sell for impressive amounts, often in the range of several hundred to a few thousand dollars. As of right now, collectors are still actively searching for this elusive penny, and if you find one, you could be looking at a huge payday. So, what should you do if you think you've found one of these valuable pennies? First, as I mentioned earlier, get it professionally graded. Once you have a certification in hand, you can either list it for sale at an auction house, on online marketplaces like eBay, or through a professional coin dealer. Make sure you're working with reputable dealers or auction houses to ensure you get the best price for your coin. Auction houses like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers are excellent places to sell rare coins, as they specialize in high-end collectibles and attract serious bidders who are willing to pay top dollar. And there you have it. The 1988 No Mint Mark Lincoln cent may look like an ordinary penny, but its rare error has turned it into a collector's dream. With a potential value of $54,986, you should definitely keep an eye out for this hidden treasure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And hey, drop a comment below if you've ever come across a valuable coin or if you're now inspired to start checking your pennies. Who knows, you could be sitting on a small fortune. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy collecting! Hey, coin collectors and treasure hunters! Welcome back to the channel where we uncover the hidden gems in your coin collection. Today, we're diving into something truly special, a 1989 D-Mint Mark Lincoln penny that has recently hit the market with an astonishing value of $44,986. Yes, you heard that right! This seemingly ordinary penny has an extraordinary story, and we're going to uncover what makes it so valuable the history behind it, and why collectors are willing to pay top dollar for it. Before we jump into the specifics of the 1989 D-Penny, let's take a brief walk through the history of the Lincoln Penny itself. The Lincoln Penny was first minted in 1909, celebrating the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. The designer, Victor David Brenner, gave us the iconic image of Lincoln that has stood the test of time for over a century. This coin was revolutionary as it was the first U.S. coin to feature a real person's face. But in 1989, the coin took on new life. The year 1989 marked 80 years of the Lincoln penny being in circulation, but what made this particular year special, and why did a penny from that year reach such an impressive value? Let's find out. Now, let's talk about the 1989 D-Mint mark. The D stands for Denver, the location of the U.S. mint where this particular coin was produced. Mint marks have always been important in coin collecting as they can indicate different minting processes, conditions, and quantities of production, which all impact a coin's value. In 1989 millions of Lincoln pennies were produced at the Denver Mint, but only a select few turned out to be special. So what makes this particular 1989 D penny worth tens of thousands of dollars? Is it just a rare anomaly or is there something more to it? There are a few factors that can skyrocket the value of a penny and the 1989 D-Penny hits the mark in several areas. First, error coins are a big deal in the world of coin collecting. Some 1989 D-Pennies were struck with minting errors, making them incredibly rare. These errors could include things like off-center strikes, double dies, or die cracks. If you find one of these errors on your coin, you could be holding on to something truly valuable. Second, condition matters. Coins in uncirculated condition, those that were never released into general circulation, can fetch astronomical prices. A 1989 D-Penny in MS-67 condition, mint state 67, or higher is what we're talking about here. A flawless coin with no blemishes or wear and tear can demand a premium price from collectors. And finally, demand plays a huge role in coin value. As collectors seek out these rare pennies, the competition to own one drives up the price, sometimes to shocking levels. Now, let's get to the part that everyone wants to know, the current market value. You might be asking yourself, how did a penny that was worth just one cent in 1989 now have a value of $44,986? Well, here's the deal. Recently, a 1989 D-Penny in pristine condition, graded as MS-67, sold for an incredible $44,986 at auction. That's right, one of the highest amounts ever paid for this coin. And this isn't a fluke. Prices for these rare 1989 D-Pennies have been on the rise for the past few years. As collectors become more interested in 1980s era coins and with demand continuing to increase, the value of these error and high-grade pennies is skyrocketing. It's not just a one-off occurrence, 
so if you've got a 1989 D penny sitting around, you may want to take a closer look. So, how do you know if your 1989 D Lincoln penny is the jackpot? First, check the mint mark. If you see that D below the year, you're on the right track. Next, examine the coin's condition. If it's still shiny and uncirculated, or if it looks nearly brand new, you might have a valuable coin on your hands. Then, take a closer look for any minting errors. Errors could include a double die, where the design appears twice, or other flaws like off-center strikes. If you notice anything unusual, that's a sign to have your coin professionally graded. Finally, consider getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. These services will give your coin an official grade, which is essential if you want to sell it for top dollar. So, there you have it. The 1989 D. Lincoln penny may seem like just another coin, but in reality, it could be worth thousands of dollars. Its unique minting history, combined with potential errors and high-grade condition, makes it a sought-after piece for collectors all around the world. If you have a collection of old pennies or come across one in your spare change, be sure to keep an eye out for that 1989 D. Mint mark. Who knows? You could be holding on to a small fortune. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more incredible coin stories. Have you found any rare pennies? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next deep dive into valuable coins. Happy collecting! Welcome back to our channel, Coin Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that could change your view on one of the most common coins in circulation the 1994 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. You might think, it's just a penny, but this little coin could be worth a staggering $87,098. So stick around as we explore its history, rarity, and current market value. Before we jump into the specifics of the 1994 No Mint Mark Penny, let's take a quick look at the history of the Lincoln Penny itself. The Lincoln One Cent Coin was first issued in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the penny features a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse and the words one cent with a weak design on the reverse until 1958. In 1959, the design was updated to feature the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, which remained until 2008 when a new design was introduced to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. The 1994 penny still has the Lincoln Memorial on its reverse, making it part of a long-standing tradition in American coinage. Now, let's focus on the 1994 No Mint Mark Penny. At first glance, it looks like any other penny you might find in your pocket. However, this particular coin has a unique story and specific characteristics that set it apart from the billions of pennies produced that year. Unlike most pennies, the 1994 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. Most coins have a mint mark indicating where they were produced, but this penny does not have one. This lack of a mint mark can lead to confusion among collectors. While the Denver Mint produced millions of 1994 pennies with the D Mint Mark, the No Mint Mark variety is much rarer. To give you some context, the Philadelphia Mint produced approximately 4.5 billion pennies in 1994. However, the exact number of No Mint Mark coins is not known, but it's estimated to be significantly lower. This rarity is one of the reasons collectors are willing to pay top dollar for the 1994 No Mint Mark penny. So, what makes the 1994 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny so valuable? As we mentioned earlier, its current market value is around $87,098. But how did it reach this impressive figure? Market values for coins fluctuate based on demand, rarity, and condition. The value of this penny has significantly increased in recent years, particularly among collectors who understand its scarcity. In the coin collecting community, the state of a coin plays a crucial role in its worth. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being perfect. To reach that jaw-dropping value, the 1994 No Mint Mark Penny must be in excellent condition, typically graded at 65 or higher. Coins that are graded lower, while still valuable, may sell for much less, anywhere from a few dollars to a couple of hundred dollars. Now you might be wondering how to check if you have this valuable penny. Here are a few steps to help you identify a 1994 No Mint Mark Penny and assess its potential worth. Make sure it's from 1994 and has the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. Examine the coin closely. If there's No Mint Mark, it was made in Philadelphia. Inspect the coin for wear and tear. The clearer the details, the higher the potential grade. 
If you believe you have a high-quality specimen, consider getting it graded by a professional service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Company, NGC. If you have a 1994 No Mint Mark Penny and are considering selling it, where should you go? There are several options. Platforms like eBay can connect you with collectors who are eager to pay for rare coins. Attending local or national coin shows is a great way to network with fellow collectors and find buyers. Reputable dealers can provide appraisals and purchase your coins directly. To wrap things up, the 1994 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is more than just a piece of change. It's a piece of history that could be worth a small fortune. If you have one in your collection, take good care of it, and maybe consider having it appraised. We hope this video has helped you understand the value and significance of this unique coin. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to our channel for more exciting coin content, and let us know in the comments if you've ever come across a valuable penny. Happy collecting, and see you in the next video. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics. Specifically, we'll be exploring the 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This coin is not just a piece of currency. It's a collectible that has garnered quite the attention in the market. Stick around because you'll be surprised to learn about its history, rarity, and its astonishing current market value of $66,555. Let's get started. The Lincoln Penny has been an integral part of American currency since its introduction in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The original design featured a profile of Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat ears on the reverse, which continued until 1958. However, in 1959, the design was changed to the iconic Lincoln Memorial, which remained until 2008. In 1995, the U.S. Mint struck a significant number of pennies, but some of them were released without a mint mark. This absence is crucial because it indicates that these coins were minted in Philadelphia, where the mint mark is often absent for cents produced there. Now, you might be wondering, what makes the 1995 No Mint Mark penny so special? The answer lies in its rarity. While millions of pennies were minted in 1995, the No Mint Mark variety has become exceptionally sought after. According to the U.S. Mint records, they produced over 5 billion pennies that year. However, the 1995 No Mint Mark penny is considered rare because only a limited number were preserved in uncirculated condition, leading to an increasing demand among collectors. The value of a coin often depends on its condition, which is graded on a scale from 1 to 70. A higher grade means a coin is in better condition, thereby increasing its value. For the 1995 No Mint Mark Penny, those graded 67 or higher can command a significant price on the market. Coins are graded by professional numismatists who assess their quality based on factors like strike, surface quality, and eye appeal. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin is. Now let's talk about the big number. $66,555. Yes, you heard that right. A recent auction sold a pristine 1995 No Mint Mark Penny for this staggering amount. The demand for rare coins is driving prices up, and collectors are willing to pay top dollar for this particular penny. Factors contributing to this high valuation include its rarity, the overall interest in Lincoln memorabilia, and the booming market for collectibles. Auctions and private sales often yield surprising results making it an exciting time for coin collectors. If you're interested in collecting coins, here are some tips to keep in mind. First, always educate yourself on the different varieties and grades of coins. Knowledge is your best asset when it comes to making purchases. Second, invest in good storage for your coins. Use acid-free holders or albums to keep them in pristine condition. And finally, stay connected with the numismatic community. Joining forums or local clubs can provide valuable insights and opportunities to find rare coins. Thanks for watching this in-depth look at the 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding the history and value of coins like this one can enhance your collecting experience. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you ever come across a 1995 No Mint Mark Penny? We'd love to hear your stories. Until next time, happy collecting. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on a remarkable piece of history, the 1997 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. You might be wondering what makes this penny so special, 
and why it's worth a staggering $60,000. So, let's get started. The Lincoln Penny, also known as the one-cent coin, has been a staple in American currency since its introduction in 1909. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the coin features the profile of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. Over the years, this coin has undergone several design changes, but today, we're specifically talking about the 1997 D Mint Mark Penny. The 1997 D Mint Mark Penny was produced at the Denver Mint and is one of the most sought after coins among collectors. The D indicates that it was minted in Denver, which adds to its uniqueness. But what truly sets this penny apart from its peers? It all comes down to rarity and condition. In 1997, the U.S. Mint produced billions of one cent coins, but not all of them were created equal. Most of the 1997 D pennies are quite common and only worth face value. However, there are a select few that were misprinted or have unique features, making them extremely rare and valuable. Collectors are particularly interested in coins that are in mint condition, often graded as MS 65 or higher. These high-grade coins are the ones that can fetch a significant price in the market. But what exactly happened with the 1997 D penny to skyrocket its value? One of the main reasons why the 1997 D penny is worth so much is due to its minting error. Certain coins have been identified with a double die error, where the design is stamped multiple times, resulting in a slightly blurred appearance. This type of error is rare and highly coveted by collectors. As of today, the market value for a 1997 D mint mark penny with these unique features can reach up to an astonishing $60,000. Yes, you heard that right, $60,000. If you happen to have one of these in your collection, it could be time to take it to a professional appraiser. When selling a valuable coin like this, always make sure to get it appraised by a reputable coin dealer. Websites like eBay and auction houses can also help you gauge its value, but remember, condition is everything in the world of numismatics. In conclusion, the 1997 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a prime example of how a common coin can become extraordinarily valuable through rarity and unique features. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for those special coins in your change. You never know what treasure you might find. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have a 1997 D penny yourself. Until next time, happy collecting! Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating coin that has been making waves in the numismatic community, the 2005 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Did you know that this little penny could be worth a staggering $8,000? Stick around as we explore its history, value, and why it has become such a hot commodity in today's market. First, let's take a step back in time. The Lincoln Penny has a rich history, first minted in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this coin features Lincoln's profile on the obverse and the iconic Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, which was introduced in 1959 to honor the 150th anniversary of his birth. Now, let's focus on 2005. This year was significant because the U.S. Mint introduced a new series of pennies to celebrate the bicentennial of Lincoln's birth. These new designs depicted different aspects of Lincoln's life and legacy. But here's where it gets interesting. The 2005 No Mint Mark Penny. You see, in 2005, the Philadelphia Mint produced pennies without the traditional mint mark that usually signifies where they were made. This omission was unintentional and created quite the buzz among collectors. What makes the 2005 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny so special? It's all about rarity and demand. While millions of pennies are minted each year, the lack of a mint mark on this particular coin makes it rare. Only a limited number of these coins were released, and as collectors seek them out, their value skyrockets. In recent auctions, some of these coins have fetched prices upwards of $8,000, depending on their condition. Coins graded as MS 65 or higher, which means they are in excellent condition, are particularly sought after. So, what does it mean to be graded? Coin grading is a system used to evaluate a coin's condition. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin is. For the 2005 No Mint Mark Penny, look for signs like clear details, no scratches, and a shiny appearance. Coins in great condition can attract serious collectors, driving up the price. Now, you might be wondering how to identify this penny among your collection. Here's what to look for. 1. No Mint Mark 
check for the absence of the mint mark on the reverse side. If you see none, you might have a valuable coin. 2. Year. Make sure it's from 2005. 3. Condition. Assess its physical condition. The better the quality, the more it could be worth. Let's talk about the current market. As of now, the demand for rare coins, particularly this 2005 no mint mark Lincoln penny, is at an all-time high. Collectors and investors are constantly on the lookout for hidden gems. As the numismatic market continues to grow, the value of these coins could fluctuate, but the $8,000 mark is a solid starting point. So, what's the takeaway here? If you happen to stumble upon a 2005 no mint mark Lincoln penny, you could be holding a small fortune in your hands. Always remember to handle coins carefully and consider getting them professionally graded if you think you've got something special. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. What other coins do you want us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting for those rare coins. Until next time. Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating topic for all the coin collectors and history buffs out there. We're diving into the intriguing story of the 2007 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Did you know this seemingly ordinary penny could be worth as much as $6,000? That's right. So, let's get into the history, value, and what makes this penny so special. First, let's talk about the Lincoln Penny itself. The Lincoln Cent was first minted in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. It was designed by Victor David Brenner featuring a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse and a wheat design on the reverse, symbolizing the country's agricultural roots. The penny underwent various changes over the decades, with the most significant redesign happening in 1959 when the wheat reverse was replaced with the Lincoln Memorial. This change was a nod to Lincoln's legacy and the importance of the memorial in Washington, D.C. In 2009, to mark the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birth, the U.S. Mint released four different reverse designs including the Union Shield, which is what we see on the 2010 penny onward. Now, let's focus specifically on the 2007 D Mint Mark Penny. The D indicates that it was minted in Denver. Unlike many of its predecessors, the 2007 penny features the updated Lincoln design. Although it was produced in large quantities, not all 2007 D pennies are created equal. This penny was made with a copper-plated zinc composition, which means it weighs just 2.5 grams significantly lighter than the earlier copper pennies. Despite its mass production, certain factors can affect its value. So, what makes the 2007 D Mint Mark Penny so valuable? The current market value for a regular 2007 D Penny is around one cent, but when we talk about the rare varieties, things get exciting. The 2007 D Penny can fetch up to $6,000 or even more under specific conditions. The key to understanding its worth lies in its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. If you happen to find a 2070 penny in uncirculated condition, you may be looking at significant value. Additionally, there are known varieties of the 2070 penny that are worth more due to minting errors, such as double strikes or off-center strikes. These errors create unique coins that collectors are eager to own. Now, let's talk about the current market trends. The demand for collectible coins has been on the rise and the 2007 D Mint Mark Penny is no exception. Recent auction results show that some rare versions of this penny have sold for thousands of dollars, driven by the growing interest in numismatics. Marketplaces like eBay and various coin auctions are buzzing with activity, and collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that are in excellent condition or possess unique characteristics. It's essential to stay informed about market trends if you're looking to buy or sell. So how do you identify whether your 2007 D penny might be worth something? Here are a few tips. 1. Check the condition asterisk inspect for scratches, dings, or other signs of wear. Coins in mint condition are much more valuable. Point 2. Look for errors asterisk familiarize yourself with common mint errors. If your penny has any odd characteristics, it could be a valuable find. Point 3. Get it graded asterisk consider sending your coin to a professional grading service if you believe it may be worth a significant amount. They can provide an official grade that can enhance its value. Point 4. Research asterisks stay updated on coin collecting forums and auction sites to understand the market better. In conclusion, while the 2007 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny might seem like a common coin, its potential value in the right condition is remarkable. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, 
Always be on the lookout for rare finds. And who knows, you might just stumble upon a coin worth thousands. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have a 2070 penny? Have you found any other valuable coins? We'd love to hear from you. And there you have it. Our countdown of the top 50 most valuable ultra-rare Lincoln one-cent pennies. Which one surprised you the most? Do you have any of these in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting coin content. Until next time, happy collecting!